Right out the top, WUSA 9 News at 11 starts with breaking news in Fairfax County. Just 90 minutes ago, Virginia Task Force 1 deployed from our area for Turkey. This after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake devastated that country and Syria. Now that quake toppled buildings and just decimated cities. Look at this here. In the last hour, we've learned at least 4,000 people have died. Thousands more are hurt tonight. Here's where the task force comes in. The search continues for lots of survivors in that rubble. Thank you for being here with us at 11 o'clock. I'm Lorenzo Hall. When it comes to search and rescue efforts, we know Virginia Task Force One has some of the most experienced pros in the world. Our Katie Lesso is live in Fairfax County tonight. And Katie, I know you met with some of them before they left. What are they telling you? Well, we are certainly keeping them in our thoughts tonight and Virginia Task Force One. They are just one of two units to deploy out of the country across the entire country. So only one of two units who deploy out of the country. And right now they left in the last 90 minutes. Right now they are headed to Turkey, which was hit by that massive earthquake. Late Monday night, Virginia Task Force One loaded up, headed to Turkey. The team is made up of 79 first responders, engineers and specialists, along with six search and rescue dogs like Vader. Trained in live human detection. This is Vader's first mission, but his handler says he's ready. We trained very well for it. We trained often for it. Being comfortable in the rubble pile, being comfortable in loud situations, uh, being comfortable to go on to the rubble pile, uh, and search and bark when he finds somebody. Once they arrive, they'll immediately partner up with a team from LA and local teams. We go out with search teams, um, scan as many buildings as we can, try to determine the likelihood that there's people that are trapped. Turkey is their first mission this year. The death toll has already risen past 4,000. The team says they're ready to help. In a split second, their lives have changed completely, and we're there to hopefully uh, bring them hope. And the team is expected to arrive in Turkey sometime tomorrow. They will likely be deployed there for several weeks. In Chantilly, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9. Well, we know the folks in Turkey are certainly in good hands with them heading that way. Katie, thank you.